Yeah, yeah. Send, me, send me an email because if you're in the area, we'd be happy to have you come yeah. down to the lab when we uh, have it opened up for uh, pilot testers and stuff and have you complete surveys and let us know what you think. Well, you know, we, we've been actually pretty impressed with learning about Lehigh University. We really didn't know anything about it. We have just moved here. We were living in Manhattan for like the last 10 years. Um, but I had parents and family that grew up here in Pennsylvania. So when we escaped the city, <laughs> we came here <laughs> and uh, we're learning more and more about it. And I've been really impressed to see everything that, like Lehigh University is doing and definitely want to see more. Um, I definitely want to go and see like a, a tour of the campus. So do you have this stuff posted on that site that you sent to me? Right, so that site, if you go into the Eli site, that's our environmental yeah. literacy and inquiry, and it's a very extensive website. We have a lot of curriculum projects there, but there's this one oh, area wow. called called um, immersive, um, I think it's called immersive learning, learning experiences on I it. I see that. Mm -hmm. and, okay, so you're on it now. Yeah, yep. and, mm -hmm. and there you can see that the Lehigh oh. Gap is yep. um, there. It's That's available, and then it says, like, coming soon, Watershed Explorers. We've got a placeholder there. So as we, you know... These things for us, it takes, I want to say, <laughs> three, three years minimum before when we start things developing before we're ready to release for public because we have to go through prototype testing, we make revisions, then there's pilot testing and then field testing. And typically when we get the field testing for feeling really good about it. We, you know, we'll, we'll put a web version on and, and our hope for this summer actually is like I said, what happened was we, we did a study uh, in, a, in a school uh, I don't know, what was it, Junior, about six years ago, five years ago at Building 21 High School in Allentown? And 29, yeah, yeah, 20, 2019. And this was a, and so it was a prototype and uh, it was a, an immersive headset experience with, with the Oculus Go headsets. And um, oh, yeah. Junior, Junior was the workhorse and really did all the programming and development on this. And um, it was basically, you had these, nine locations in the water in, in allentown one was like um blue mountain but you had a map interface and uh the the narrative context was uh uh chad from the lehigh gap lost lost his key in allentown and you have to go visit these um nine locations to find the key and every time you go to a location you would hit some a target and it would give you a multiple choice question and says, well, what is this place? And they were some type of environmental uh, location uh, in, in Allentown. And we ran this with about 70 high school kids, did it at the end of the school year when you have kids mostly checked out, right? Yeah. <laughs> so you, and if you're not familiar with Allentown School District, it's a, it's a, your population of kids are pretty unengaged. It's a high percentage of kids that are unengaged. And what we yeah. found were these kids were so engaged doing this experience. And then we did cool. focus groups with them and they all had um, a flow state and they all had very high perceptions of learning with VR. And so we, our group realized, you know, we got something here. And, um, and so we've been kind of uh, working in the space for a while. And our newest thing is we're now, um, we have a group of um, computer science and engineering students, a cohort that works with us, and um, we're looking at trying to get the um, GIS interface in uh, Unity right now so we could do more things with um, our watershed spatially and looking at a water quality project right now. Wow, that's really cool. Hey, have you seen, I'm sure you're familiar with Assassin's Creed, that video game? So they actually pushed out some ancient Greece and ancient Egypt, and I think Vikings too, I can't remember what it was, uh, worlds where it's a game where it's kind of a learning game where because the graphics are so amazing and I'm, I'm posting it in the chat here for you to share Al with them. Um, I bought it for my daughter because she just did a session this semester in uh, on ancient Egypt and it gave her an opportunity to kind of like go to ancient Egypt and talk to and see what the people look like and what the buildings were like and what like daily life was like there so you know this is like something along those lines that you guys should like look into like doing with this stuff because it's incredible and I, I think there's like you know a market out there for this Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm 
Yeah. Yeah, it really is. Yep. It is. Yeah, it, it is. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love like going to the library that's there and seeing like the the old scrolls and like walking around that old library and just kind of like walking around the, the streets and seeing the different thing. They had the pyramids there that you could go into. It's just incredible. Just absolutely incredible. Hi, Jonathan. John. Oh, hi, Cheryl. Hi. Oh, geez. I need to get rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> Could have heard a pin drop whenever I walk in the room. I don't know. <laughs> John, John, have you met Tara before? It was one of our grad students. I don't know if I have. Hi, Tara. Nice to meet you. Hi, John. Nice to meet you as well. Thanks for joining us tonight. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you guys looked like you were having such a great conversation. I thought I'd jump in. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Easy. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, well. I spent five minutes. I just like I don't have the time to make a fancy avatar. Well, I love the hat, by the way, Junior. That's great. That's that's a classic. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Uh cheer. <laughs> A little slower with the reactions. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, this is great. I mean, honestly, this is I, this whole week. I've met more people in the metaverse 
and connect it with more people in the metaverse than I did outside of the metaverse. So <laughs> I'm I'm really like kind of like loving this sort of engagement that's going on with this. Right. Right I, down the rabbit hole. Yeah, well, I do find it ironic, though, too, because, you know, I'm in the metaverse and I run into something that's kind of like in my backyard. <laughs> right. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, hi, John. Hi. Hi. I finally got in. <laughs> I finally yeah, got into the right spot. So yeah, actually my parents, uh, were actually not my parents, but my parents' parents immigrated from Poland to Pennsylvania uh, in New Jersey area, both on my mom's side and my dad's side back in the early 1900s. And they lived in Pennsylvania for a number of years, but ended up deciding my parents to uh, move to Virginia. And I was there for a little while, but then I ended up going back to Manhattan. And I was there for like the last 10 years, which was great. But now, yeah, Manhattan's not what it was 10 years ago. <laughs> That's true. I boomeranged back to uh, Pennsylvania and I've uh, been in thoroughly enjoying reconnecting with my, my heritage, so to speak. And then mm. also been really enjoying um, the rich culture and um, the history. I mean, there was a lot of history in Manhattan that was phenomenal as well. And that was one of the reasons why I love the city as much as I did. And really why I enjoy the East Coast as much as I do. We just have so much more history than any place else uh, in the country. So. Um, and we try to, because my daughter, she's like 12, so I want to incorporate experiences that she's learning about in school with like kind of like real, real, real world experiences. Like when we, um, when she was learning about the pilgrims, we took a trip up to Plymouth to go see Plymouth Rock and like that uh, living museum. We love living museums. They're just like, you know, so great. Something like, you know, I, I don't know, I haven't seen any living museums in this area, but we had some living museums, obviously in Virginia, the one, the big one, Williamsburg, Jamestown. Oh yeah, my husband just reminded me. There is a miners village that you Eckley. can go to. Eckley? Eckley. Eckley. Yeah. Have you been? Yeah, yeah it's wonderful. It is. Oh, it really yeah. is. That's that's you know something like this would be another phenomenal way to like kind of have that additional um, bringing the the future to the past and, and meshing the two together. So. <laughs> oh, we're getting very popular. I think we're going to need a bigger booth. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm very glad that I got a chance to meet up with you guys because I was trolling around here all day going, are they here? And, and popping back in and going, are they here? Every time I heard somebody coming in. So when I ran into you, Al, at the other conference thing, I was like, oh, yay. I'm so glad I'm going to be able to get, meet with you guys and like connect up with you because this I, I find this like amazing and just phenomenal. I love that you're doing this sort of thing. It reminds me of, uh, I don't know if you guys ever played it. Oregon Trail? Are you mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's like a I think there's now a virtual VR version of that out there now, which is like that thing's been around for like 50 years. <laughs> wow. That's... I think we played that on Apple IIe's when I was in elementary school. Oh yeah. 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 I mean we played it. <laughs> right. Oregon Trail. Yeah, that yeah. thing is like it's literally been around since like the eighties, the early eighties. Oh yeah, or maybe yeah. I I would say I remember it in junior high, and I let's see, I I I was a freshman in high school in eighty three. 
So yeah, maybe eighty one. That'd be about right. I I think I played it on an Apple two E, and I definitely played it on a Tandy one thousand. <laughs> right. I yeah. Yeah. I know. I am. I'm old. <laughs> yep. Same. <laughs> Just a number. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Yeah. It. Yep. Definitely check it out. It's like definitely iconic for sure. It's one right. of those. Uh, games that have just been around forever <laughs> literally <laughs> it's like yeah, i'm gonna pop over and, and see if uh, sorry i just wanted to say i need to pop over and, and make sure there's uh there might be poster presenters who are standing all the, by themselves i want to i want to pop in and give <laughs> oh. some love so yep. thank you thank nice you john, see you, john. Nice thank meeting you. you. bye <laughs> the, the, the oregon trail was basically like your you know, you're traveling as a family or whatever to from on the Oregon Trail and various things go wrong. So like your oxen might die, um, you die of dysentery, the wheel breaks on on your wagon. Um, but yeah, you, know, you know, for a fourth grader, it was a lot of fun. I can still picture it. Like just you saying that, Cheryl, brought back like memories of like all the kids gathered around the one yeah, yeah. in the classroom in the early 90s. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was a that was a phenomenal game. Just seeing the evolution of that too nowadays. Yeah, I'm definitely going to look that up once uh, when we wrap up here. My plan was to play Super Mario Three. That's usually my end of semester celebration. I break out my Nintendo and do that. Um, uh, but nice. I might go Oregon Trail. <laughs> you know, I need to go on a Roblox and see if they have a version of Oregon Trail on that because I bet you they do. My daughter is like obsessed <laughs> with Roblox. Yeah. She's been on it since she got home from school today. Uh huh. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Lehigh Gap. Yeah. Wow. And that's available, Cheryl. Like you can go to really? the Lehigh Lehigh Gap Nature Center's website, and that video is okay. on on their site. Yeah. Lehigh yeah, Gap. Yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. Oh, that's so cool. My daughter's gonna be like, oh, mom, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. The way Mystery of the Lehigh Gap starts is actually with video. It's a Roblox. Uh, G -Log. There's like seven or eight cutscenes, and then boom, goes right into that video. All right, I'm gonna go and check that out because she knows her way around Roblox pretty well, so. Oh, um, oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, so cool. Oh, that's awesome. So do you guys have plans for expansion? Are you guys gonna just stay local? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so a lot of our, our projects um, are, are very place-based, but um, some, some are not. So we have this other, that's truly a, an immersive game. It's called Flood Adventure. And uh, yeah, and, uh, and we, we have a paper, um, I guess on, 
on the second round of evaluation feedback, user feedback uh, that Junior be given in um, St. Louis Obispo next month for iLearn. Um, but that game's pretty much about done. And then next semester, we're going to finish it up in, in the fall and then get into the headset. Um, but that, you know, flooding, uh, it starts off with a brief video about why, you know, we have enhanced hydrologic cycle and uh, due to climate change and it's causing more localized flooding. But that happens everywhere in the world. And, um, and so I've got some colleagues in some different places around the world that uh, once we're done with it, they might be very interested in using it in their own area. So, so I, that one will have, I think, broader, broader appeal globally. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And Cheryl, if you go into the Eli website in the upper right corner, it says, uh, I think it says research. And if you click on that, there's a drop down for publications. And when you look at that, if you go like to the conference section, there's, um, you know, quite a few videos, especially if you look for the iLearn ones, you'll see the papers there and the uh, videos um, that we've used for the conferences and stuff. Okay, I have like a thousand tabs out. open now, <laughs> but that's cool. Oh, publications, right? Yeah, Please. yeah. Okay. Oh, so cool. Hi, Daniel. Daniel. Hi, how are y'all doing? Good. Great, how are you? Good. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Hey, so I don't mean to interrupt the conversation and look forward to listening to more of it. I just wanted to also say, if you need a hand with anything for your booths, let me know. Uh, and I'm happy to sort of relay stuff back and forth with the, uh, with the team on Discord. Yeah, great. Thanks. Great. Thank you so much. Daniel, you have any questions um, you want to ask about our project? Uh, th this one's yours here, the Mystery of Lehigh Gap. Yeah. Yeah, let me let me dive in a little. I'd love to, to know more about it. All right, I've got to go for dinner. It was really great meeting you. I have like so much research I'm going to do. I'm hoping I'm going to see you IRL really, really soon. <laughs> and I'm very excited about the summer. Cool. It was, oh, thanks, Cheryl. Great it was you. great meeting everyone. Have a great night. Yeah. You too, Cheryl. Bye. Yeah, let me see. Did that? You want Design me to, choices you want as me to put events. Um, the presentation up there, or we changed it to just the photo of the poster because Al and I only were seeing the video. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we the resolution because before you should have been able to like zoom in on the poster, I think. Um, okay. It is letting me zoom, uh, just not. Oh, yeah, it's letting me zoom in there. Daniel, is it crisp for you, or is it kind of blurry? Um, it's it's a little blurry when I don't zoom, but once I'm zoomed in, it seems nice and crisp. Okay. Refreshed it. And yeah. I'm not sure if that's zooming and panning for you or whether that's only showing for me when I'm doing it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I had Tara, when I came in, it was kind of weird because I couldn't see the poster. All I was seeing was the, the video. So I had her, you know, just mess around with it for a second. Yeah, I'm wondering if, because, um, the person we were just talking to, was say, Cheryl was saying that she was able to see the poster, but you and I were seeing the video. I wonder if because we're presenters, we see a different view from the yeah, I don't know. poster attendee.
Okay. Oh, okay. Because when I click the, the post, when you click the poster from outside, like if you're standing outside this area on any of these posters and you click the poster, it gives you the poster on a like a web browser. That's what I notice. Yeah. Yeah, and, and if you're editing it, you can depending on whether you're standing in your space or outside of your space, you can adjust which thing is showing in either spot. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Thank you. Yeah. Well, Daniel, let let us know when um you're ready and we could share some of what went into this with you a little more. Maybe I'd love to hear it. Yeah, that's yeah. fantastic. Tara. So, so I'm Tara and I'm one of the grad students who work on um, the dialogue system and the avatars for the mystery of the Lehigh Gap. And um, Jayan also is working on the project. I was, I was last spring and then she's been, how long Jayan um, that you worked on mystery of the Lehigh Gap? Is it this academic year? Yeah, oh, we lost, I think we lost her. We lost her. Yeah, but Thanks. she starts the doctoral program next year, next semester. Oh, that's great. No, because she just finished her master's. Yeah. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> 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 that's right, that's right. But um, yeah, so at any rate, so the game, um, how have you, are you familiar at all yet with Mystery of the Lehigh Gap and what the game is? No. This is, pardon? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. So, and um, Dr. Bodzin and Junior, please, please jump in as I miss things, which I surely will, because they've been. I was only a short period of time, and this is their project. But um, the mystery, the only. Ours, Tara. Ours. Okay. Ours. Okay. Our, um, but yeah, so the Mystery of the Lehigh Gap is a game that explores the environmental impacts of a zinc smelting plant in the Lehigh Gap area of Pennsylvania. So if you're not familiar with um, with where that is, we're about an hour north of Philadelphia and about an hour and a half west of New York City. Okay. And, um, yeah, so basically like in what happened with the zinc smelting plant was that the plant ended up killing all the vegetation on the mountain and the purpose of the game is to teach player or learner about um, how that took place. So there's a time travel component to the game. There are mini games within it that are like more mainstream games, like one is similar to Candy Crush, for instance. But um, with the time travel component, that's where some of these des design aspects came in. So you'll see here that on the poster that we have various avatars that are non-playable characters within the game. And all of those avatars were based off of actual people who lived in the area during the time periods of the game. So we, one of the partners that we work with provided us with historical photos and the avatars that we created were based on those folks there, either directly from a person's photo, which if you watch the video, you'll see some examples or um, maybe a combination of some actual historic people with the fashion being accurate to the time period of the travel. We also have two historical figures in the game who um, were part of the story of the zinc mining taking place in Palmerton. One of those is Stephen Palmer and the other one is Joseph Wharton and you'll see their avatars there. Um, so in the upper right, you'll see two of the avatars interacting with each other and the dialogue boxes that we created were in a platform called Fungus that um, you can add on to Unity. And the dialogue boxes are using Lehigh University's branding. The font that we selected is accessible because it doesn't have serifs and it um, is also a nod to the Xbox entertainment system. So if the font looks familiar and you're a gamer, that's why. Um, so a couple things there and just the examples of what the dialogue boxes look like. There are dialogue boxes between the non-playable characters to help tell the story as the player time travels through the different periods. But then there's also um, a, a player dialogue box. So it's, you know, the metacognitive prompt where the player is asking, where am I during the game? And there's even like the overarching like messages for the player, which is the lighter gray dialogue box that you're seeing. Um, in addition to that, you'll notice that there are some images of newspapers on the poster. 
And those newspapers help tell the player where they are when they have a time jump within the game. And in order to create those, we researched newspapers that were actually read in the area at the time of the time where the time travel took place. So um, you'll see the place that it is is Carbon County, Pennsylvania. And there's also one from um, an area in New Jersey where the Palmerton Zinc Company originated. So basically those newspaper images are a hybrid of the actual newspaper from the National Newspaper Archives and also text that we added to the bottom, which the newspaper will pop up on the screen See, it's showing the headline and then it scrolls down to the bottom to tell the player, oh, here's what's going on in the game. So, right. um, yeah, so I, I know that was a lot of, I just kind of kept going. So what, what, what questions do you have for us? No, this is, this is, this is brilliant. I, I really love it. Um, the, the, the style is great. I love the way that you've used, that you've sort of integrated integrated all of the kind of the learning components together. The newspapers are a, a marvelous tool to, to be using with the uh, with, with them to give them context. Um, yeah. I, I don't have any any questions that are popping to mind so much as much as just a lot of appreciation for what looks like a really a well a well designed and thought out project. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Okay. And, and and what's the sort of the, the current status of this? Is is it is it course integrated or or how is it uh, is it in use by students currently? Take that one. So it's not finished yet. It, we're we're close. Um, I'd say maybe by the December we'll have it. The full functional prototype from start to finish will be done. Then we have to do testing. So if you look at the bottom of our poster. Um, we have four um, non-formal environmental education um, partners. Um, yeah. And so all our, we've been partnering on our, all our projects with these four groups for the last four or five years. And the intent is that all our projects are going to be used at these um, centers, whether it be, uh, you know, if appropriate. We're, we're still have to discuss if, for this one if it's going to end up being in a headset or part of it being in a headset because it's, it's, it's going to be pretty long. So as a desktop VR gaming, it, it, you know, it fun it's going to function pretty well. Um, for playing on a, one's computer, you know, even through like a WebGL version, but um, through headset, we're not quite sure yet. Um, but we have our other projects, including this one. So, you know, it'll it'll be used at these centers. That's kind of the the main goal. Got it. And and for someone like me who who teaches at the university, uh, and I have some colleagues too. You know, once these things are done, I'm sure we'll be able to find colleagues who might be interested in integrating this into some of the courses that they uh, teach, especially those in the um, education college. Yeah, no, this is this is quite exciting. We're, we're up yeah. at the University of British Columbia, the Emerging Media Lab there, and it's always neat to see how different universities are are engaging partners like this uh, mm -hmm. to, to sort of both how to bring things together, but then how to how to get the work out there as well. Cool. So you're in Vancouver, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, Junior, that's where Kate got her doctorate at UBC. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. wonderful. You guys have a wonderful uh, anthropology museum on your campus. Sorry, I missed that last part. I was just talking. Uh, to I said science. you have a wonderful anthropology museum on your campus. Yes. Yeah, it's it's a great spot. We've worked a little bit with trying to to digitize some of the the elements of that for for use in uh, in educational material. Very cool.
And so it sounds like you're working with sort of uh, an, an intern team uh, who, who kind of help out with developing the, the project? Uh, yeah, well, we have students, yeah. So our, we have a fairly large group. Um, we, like this project uh, is through our Creative Inquiry Mountaintop project. So we have, uh, during the academic year, we have, uh, it depends on the semester, like this is, we're on our third cohort that they're with us for a whole year. They stay, mm -hmm. they work two semesters during the academic year. And then in the summer, um, their Lehigh supports uh, two, two students to work uh, full time on the development work. And we also okay. have some associates also that aren't, don't get paid, but they come to the lab and work with us for, you know, commit to at least 10 hours a week during the summer months. Yeah. Uh, and some of our other projects, we have cohorts from our computer science and engineering um, uh, undergraduate degree program so like we have uh two cohorts working on two different projects with us also right now right yeah. no that's that's a little similar to how we we do things as well that makes good sense yeah really it's, it's really exciting i'm gonna have to i'm, I'm looking up some of the stuff that you're that, that y'all are are up to it, it seems like you've got a, a good a good thing going yeah we, Thank you, we enjoy it yeah it's fun, fun stuff. And uh, yeah, we're we're excited to this summer. We're getting um, not this, not this project, but our um, Lehigh Gap story, which is a, a virtual field trip uh, that's completely done. It's we got desktop version. We've conducted studies on that, and also our um, watershed explorers. We're creating uh, two shorter versions that one focuses on industrial history and one environmental issues, and we're. Hopefully by the end of the summer, we'll have those three experiences in our um, Oculus Quest 2 headsets that we just arrived at our office. Oh, uh, wonderful. Yeah. Very great. Well, thank you. It's, it's, it's great to hear to hear about the projects. And uh, yeah, I'm going to keep keep uh, Lehigh in, in mind and, uh, and maybe share some of what you're working on with our with our colleagues back at the Emerging Media Lab. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, Daniel, yeah. I would I would love to um, connect with you if that's okay. I work at the Center for Innovation and Teaching and Learning at Lehigh, so I'm a staff member and also a grad student. But um, part of what I work on in my role as a staff member is um, extended reality. So I would love to learn more about what you all are up to. Oh yeah, that would be that would be fantastic. Both. Um... Uh, uh, we, we're always happy to talk. We're an open lab, so everything that we do is op is uh, is released under MIT license, um, okay. and, and we're always excited to talk with other people who are working in the field. Um, we're also a part of the emerging media community of practice with iLearn, um, and so so that's another time where sort of opportunities for people to to come together and sort of share a little bit about what they're working on or what they have worked on. So yeah, let's let's do connect. That would be wonderful. Fantastic. Um, cool. Liz, do you use LinkedIn or a platform like yeah. that? Yeah, I think okay. my, I think my profile includes my LinkedIn. Let me let me grab that. Awesome. Thank you. Daniel, I should try to remember to look you up the next time uh, I'm up your way. I, uh, <laughs> I got mother mother in law lives in uh, Bellingham and. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's nice and close. Well, if if you yeah. do c come on up, we'd love to to give you a yeah. tour of our lab spaces and to uh, yeah. to talk more. That'd be great. Yeah, my, my daughter is currently residing north of Vancouver. I think she's somewhere between Squamish and Vancouver for a couple of okay. months. Yeah, her hu husband, her, not her husband, her partner, they're not married, is uh, going to be working in Squamish uh, on a, a drill project. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> project, yeah, that people aren't too happy about. <laughs> Great. So, Tara, I've dropped, my, uh, I've dropped my LinkedIn there in the chat. Great, thank you. Yeah, I just I just found you to follow you, so thank you so much. Yeah, well, yeah, very very exciting. I look forward to to kind of engaging more with your your team. Um, and and yeah, I know that the rest of the lab would also be excited to to talk with you again, both about the content, the projects you're doing. We always like to hear about how you're doing your development process and share what we're up to. Yeah. Um, and uh, and and kind of all of those components, all of the all of the mixed bag of of things involved in running a lab like that. Yeah, Daniel, are you going to be at uh, St. Louis Obispo next month? Well, I'm not, no. Okay, bummer. Yeah. And yeah, no, Junior and I will be attending, so we're looking forward to, to going. Oh, nice. Talking with people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Felt like a, a moonwalking thing going on from our view. Yeah. 
Thank you. Thanks so much, Daniel. I look forward to connecting with you. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks. Well, pleasure to meet you all. I'll let you, let you get back to it. But, uh, but. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Yeah. Jung, you're having a hard time getting into the platform. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm so, I... so she not... doesn't have access to the expo hall. Junior, what? So what did she has to go to the email, the presenter email? Yeah, an email. If if she paid and registered, registered and paid, she should have received an email with all the links and how to download for Bella and get it installed and everything. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can find that. I saved all the various emails, so. Thank you. Yeah. Um, like well, she worked so hard on this. I want her to be. I know. You know? Yeah. Unfortunately, they, they didn't slot this poster session at a good time. No, not at um, all. Fri Friday, you know, it's, um, well, it's late for us, but even if you're on West Coast right now, it's what, six o'clock, five o'clock on a Friday, you know, it, you're not going to get, uh, I didn't do the program, so, and I wasn't involved in those discussions, so I, but I'm going to, I'm going to let it be known to the conference committee that they they need to do a, do it better last last year they in the year before they had good time in they had good time periods for the poster sessions and uh, i don't know about last time yeah it was it was a reasonable time though i mean uh i remember we had quite a bit of traffic in the poster last last year didn't we yeah yeah and but there's like and there were more users in the um uh in the in the virtual campus, you know, I'm looking right now, and you know, there's only 17 people in the expo and 21 people in the user, which in the world, which is kind of low. What they, I think, what they should have done was, I think after the sessions ended at three o'clock our time today, they probably should have had those posters go from three to five today. These posters, yeah. they would have been a better, because there were, I don't know what the, uh, there may have been about 70, 60. 60, I don't know if I ever got up to 70, uh, the sat, you know, early afternoon. Um, you know, I was in sessions from 11 to three today and there was, um, uh, you know, usually, you know, there was like three things going on at one time. And I think there was like between 17 and 20 in each thing that I attended. So, yeah, today um, unfortunately was a uh, pretty busy work wise. So I was on, only able to attend like half of a, a game session and I came in for the second half. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Then I attended um, Junior Dennis Beck and uh, Leonel, um, I can't forget his last name starts with an Morgado. They talked about their project that they've been working on for the last couple of years. Um, uh with their their i forget what we call it like a database thing or their research agenda thing and um it was it was good i i was very in, impressed and we got into a, a lively discussion about the term immersion and how it's <laughs> how it's being used inappropriately and they hadn't come across oh. that 2023 article with that delphi study so i shared it with everybody in the session and we had a, a nice chat they're, they're going to have a session um and, and slow. That's what they call San Luis Obispo. Slow. Um, next next month they'll have a, a a session on it to be able to engage further. Yeah. But From, I appreciate you telling us that yesterday because one of my teammates was trying to get in and couldn't and got you know frustrated by it. So um, as as was I, I switched to my hotspot and it solved the problem. So thank you, Junior. You helped helped beyond just us. Yeah, Junior put in help tickets last year and the year before. I don't know why Lehigh.
Right. I and remember, I I test I tested that. Um, I was in the lab uh, a few days ago to check the poster, and it didn't work. And I told you, I said, you know, they don't have that thing fixed. So you're going to have to go home to uh, to get to it. And, uh, I know. Yeah. Oh, doomed. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Wi-Fi hotspot was something I got when I traveled a lot in my former life as, you know, a corporate person. And um, I just hung on to it because it comes in handy more often than you would think. Through T-Mobile, it's not, you know, it's not pricey. So, but it, like that was a perfect instance because I couldn't, you know, get get in, get the sound going at work, which is just wild to me. But um, yeah, if you did, so you opened a ticket for it this year, Junior? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, their presentation. Oh, sorry. Say, their presentations in a little bit. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stay up for it. I'm getting tired. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 yeah. I'd say anyway. I don't think we're going to get any more traffic here tonight. To tell you the truth, so if, if y'all want to leave, it's. I think it's fine with me. It's... Yeah, I feel bad that Jung Yu can't get in. But we she didn't miss a lot, right? It's not like last year where there were a ton of people. Yeah, well, still, it's it's yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah, and Dana yeah. came by and chatted, so that was great. Yeah. Yeah, that could be a great um, person to, for all of us to learn from in our different capacities, right? Yeah, absolutely. Sorry, I was um, helping with my family stuff and the time is, hi, we have a new visitor. Hi, David. Hi, David. Hi, David. Uh, good to have you here. So, so welcome. I'm, I'm not sure if you had a chance to watch our video or learn anything about our poster, but we're happy to share with you tonight. I want to play the video. Pardon? Can you play the video for me? Oh, sure. Yeah, we can. Um, Dr. Bodzin and I took it down. So That's I'm going great. to quickly grab the link so that we could show that to you. Yeah, if he clicks oh. on top, it'll open the video in a web browser for him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it here? Click to open the link. So, David, if you click on the top of the screen where it says Mystery of the Lehigh Gap, the purple, I guess, on the very yeah, top, I that'll, guess. that'll uh, open it for you. Higher, higher. No, just oh, click the title. Yeah, the title. Anyhow, anyway, folks, I'm gonna take off. Okay, thanks, Dr. Okay. Martin. Yeah, Martin. have a great evening, everybody, and see you soon. Yeah. Bye. 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 Dr. Bozin, before you go, you want to take a picture together? Oh, <laughs> I okay. Can do a screen share. Yeah, can, yeah so scooch over here some. Little. Okay. Uh, we move to. I've that. been taking them too, Jayan. So I'll I'll share them with everybody. Yeah. yeah, John, you want to get yourself in here first and then I take your photo. Okay, yeah, I'm trying to like uh move to the good spot so we are able to take, take I'm able to take picture with all our name. <laughs> okay. I think there's a way too that you could I'm going to see if I could change the perspective where you could have it facing you so that you see the face of the avatar and if I could get all of us together Okay. That way, I will. Mm. 
<laughs> Did this earlier. <laughs> I feel like the set, I don't know. Do the settings move? They shouldn't. Oh, Jean Yu! Hi, Jean Yu! Yeah. So. Excuse me, how are you? Are you taking the photo? Where can I find the picture? Oh, would you like to see the picture of the poster? No, I, I want to know how I can take picture. Robinson. Oh, you could. What I've been doing is just taking a screenshot. Like I, yeah. I use a PC, so I just do like function print screen. Okay, I thought there's a camera feature. I don't no, think so. I wish there were. No. That'd be nice. Maybe. Screenshot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Agars. Oh, you mean okay. from the profile? Mm, I see that. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. I'm standing next to you. I think I got it. <clears throat> Okay, so you will see. Oh, I see. Okay, that did it. Okay. I think I've got I've, I got it. So, so if everybody, I I figured it out. Thank you. <laughs> I think if um, Jayan Jung Yu, Doctor Bogdan Jr., if we all line up, if you all want to line up near me. I think I could get a pretty good shot. Yeah. Okay. I'll let you know. The, the photographer in me is coming out now. Uh, okay, so. Oh, okay, Jayan, if you want to come in a little bit. What about here? <laughs> it okay. was quick. Well, I didn't our... spend much time on it. I, I saw okay. a spot for me, which is the next to right, Dr. So... Bozzi. Yeah, go between Dr. Boz and Junior, and then Jung Yu, can you hear us? All right, Jung Yu, we gotta get you in here. Okay, yeah, I line it up. <laughs> Jung Yu, you could come over next to me, like, and I All think right, that'll that... get it. Okay, cool. That was so cool. I had this, I had this issue too. Well, what if we move over by her? Yeah, oh, I don't know what happened, just I got mis disconnected suddenly. <clears throat> oh no. Okay, Jung, you turn to the right a little bit. Just a little bit, because the camera... Well, this is pretty good. All right. Well, that turned out good. I get to On the count of three, say cheese. <laughs> Here we go. Cheese. Cheese. I'll take a couple of them. Thank you. Oh, oh how, how, how could you do that? Click emoji. Click on your name, too. You can do that. Not emoji. It's a forward oh. slash thumbs up. And if you go in the chat box, there's Ooh. a whole bunch of different keys you could do. It. And like uh, forward slash thumbs up, or if you do like forward slash FLIP, you can do flip. Dance. I hear background music. <laughs> You're dancing? Okay, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
pretty fun. Yeah. There was one, I think, if anyone likes heavy metal. <laughs> yeah. The hand gestures, like, that's a very Italian American thing. I should be doing that one. I like that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I promise next year I'll have a better avatar then. I wish that you had the, you, you had flip flops last year. Well, junior, you flip flops, so. I think I had flip flops last year, didn't I? Yeah. I was <laughs> flip flops last year. All right. Good. Okay. All right, good night. I, I took some screenshots. Good night, everyone. Bye. I'll send them to everyone. All right. Thanks. Good night. Bye. Bye. Genia, <laughs> yeah, I saw your wave. <laughs> okay. So guys, probably I have to leave too. I need to take care of the baby. Uh, it's a bad time. I need to put him down to the bed. Oh, we have it. Oh, we have it. Someone from Harvard. Hi. Hi. Hi, Shari. Hi. How do you pronounce your name? Shari. Shari, nice to meet you. I'm Tara. Hi. Shari, nice to meet you. I'm Jayan. Yeah, I thought I'd come check out your uh, poster. Thank you. And I can't really. It's hard to read. Okay, let's see if we can fix that for you. I can download it. Maybe that better way. Yeah, we've been having like um, challenges with that. <sighs> okay. Yeah, you can view it from outside the booth. What I'll do is actually um, put a link to the poster right in the chat. That way you can pull it up right from Google Drive. I think that. Oh, okay. A workaround for now. Oh, yeah, you're right. The download button works when I'm. No. Oh, wait, does it? Huh? 
So, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. No, I didn't know that. Thank you. Lots of cool information. Yeah, no, I, I've been uh, involved in developing a a desktop VR game um, for ecosystem science. Oh, wow. Yes, I worked on all of those. I was the project director. <laughs> well done. But my current, um, but I had a presentation um, about my current work, which is um, which is a science game that I've been developing with um, uh, David Gagnon at the University of Wisconsin. And here, let me, um, I will put the link in the chat. That's the um, that's the game that we've been developing, and I presented on it um, this morning, morning my time. But uh, I don't know how to get to the paper. I don't. I I'm, I think we probably have to wait till the proceedings are released, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. I think you're right. Yeah. So. Right. Uh -huh.
Sure, and, and I invite um, Sung Yu and Jayan to jump in, um, but I, I'll, I did speak to some of the avatar process and some of the newspaper creation process that Junior um, shared with you. So as far as the newspapers are concerned, um, those are used during the time travel periods of the game, or I'm sorry, during the time jumps within the game to show what time period the person, the player is traveling to. And the newspapers are actually from the um, newspaper archives. We researched what newspapers were being read in the area where the game takes place, which is in um, the Lehigh Gap, Pennsylvania. So about an hour and a half or so north of Philadelphia. I see you're from Harvard, so we're not too far from you, but, um, but just far enough away. And uh -huh. um, yeah, so basically like those newspaper images that you see pop up on the screen. So it has the authentic newspaper from the time that the player is traveling to, and then that paper scrolls up and at the very bottom is the explanation for the player as to what's going on in the game when they time travel. So um, yes, yeah, so that was a, a very fun part of the project to work on because it, we got to research a little bit of local history. There are two from Carbon County, Pennsylvania, which is where the Lehigh Gap is. And then there's another one from um, an area in New Jersey where the zinc company that had set up shop in Palmerton um, was located. So we got those two areas there. And um, Jung, you and I partnered on drawing the avatars for the game. Jung, you, I'll, I'll pause if you want to sh share some of what the process was. No, no, it's all right. I'm still just uh, trying to get the hang of uh, what this is. Is it a is is it a game we can play? The digital divide is. <laughs> okay well that sounds cool so it's 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 to help uh, people understand the history of the region.
Well, I think that's great. And I, I'm a big fan of desktop VR. I, I think I just went to a talk earlier and I think that they were saying something like, yeah, we decided to uh, try out some desktop VR, um, even though it's so old and obsolete, it seems like there might still be a little bit of a use for it or something like that. And I was thinking, what? What? Of course. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yay. Huh. I just uh I just found that paper. Thank you for the 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 link. So yeah, I was gonna suggest checking out um my group at Field Day Lab in general that that I work with because they've developed a lot of really interesting um games that um uh, might resonate with you. All right. Well so I was talking about Aqualab or the game called Wake, which is the one that we're developing and doing research on. But if you but if you look at Field Day Labs in general, Field Day Lab, like the, the higher, they've developed a lot of really nice games, and um, and there's a journalism game. Uh, right. Yeah. And you might want to true. And and there's there's a game called Joe Wilder and the Capital Case, which is a a history detective in Wisconsin game for I think for elementary or middle school. Anyway, yeah, so so lots of cool stuff. Exactly. Great. All right. And so when I have a chance, I'm going to watch your, um, your videos and, um, uh, and check them out. Thank you so much for talking with me. Thank you. Yeah. yeah thank you, Sherry. Nice meeting you. Nice, nice to meet you. Too. Too. So, it's kind of late for you guys, right? Not, you're in the same time zone. It's 930. Yeah. yeah. Ugh. Well, <laughs> space. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I will. I was just going to wander around a few more minutes and then figure out what to do. And then one more day. I do love the virtual space, though. It's so fun being here. Yeah, it is very fun. Yeah. Have you have you been on the, any of the boats yet? I highly recommend that. <laughs> uh, no, not really, actually. I'll check it out. Yeah, so there's a pirate ship. So if you navigate toward the pirate ship, you'll see like speed boats around the dock and you can click on um, there. There's a seat with like a steering wheel. If you click on that seat, you could drive the boat all around the island. It's really neat. All right, that sounds great. Um, well, thank you. It's super nice to thank meet you, you in um, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania.
Yeah, so not far from Philadelphia and New York City. We're kind of in between the two. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm I'm gonna be in Philadelphia for ISTE. Oh, I'm gonna be there too. Okay. Yeah, well. um, I'm an instructional technologist in the Center for Innovation and Teaching and Learning at Lehigh, in addition to being a grad student. So, um, so yeah, I'm going there as part of my staff role. But part of what I work on is, um, you know, I, I assist my teammate who focuses on extended reality. So that's part of what you're looking at there. So um, hope hope to run into you in Philadelphia. And if you need any food tips, let me know. I do. Maybe I will try to reach out. Okay, and, sounds um, good. And I have a I have a presentation on at on on Aqualab our, our game on Wednesday morning of that conference, the last morning. Oh great. Okay. I'm I'm jotting that down to check that out. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. Well then it was very nice to meet you and maybe I will see you soon. All right. Take nice care. meeting you too. Thanks, Sherry. Bye. <laughs> yeah yeah junior you killed it nicely done yes junior great job and also tara great job Yeah, I'm, I'm pulling all of these links that folks are sharing. So, right. I also I mean, check the yeah. Oh, sorry, Gian. Go go ahead, Katara. No, no, no. no. Yeah, you go. Uh, I'm I'm speak up to you. <laughs> you go first. Okay. Oh, um, yeah. It's it it's great to attend the virtual campus and yeah and that's cool and I have to leave because I feel okay. baby's crying so uh yeah I will see you later. See you later. More like Bye. in person hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Absolutely. We won't be able to. I mean, understand. Thank you so much for everything, Junior.
Yeah. Hey. Okay. Tell you I said hello. Bye.